From WCPO 9, it's a new day. Good morning and welcome back. I'm Myra Cates. For more than 53 years, the Brighton Center has been providing hope and new life to thousands in need in Northern Kentucky. Servicing eight counties with 45 different programs for infants all the way up to senior citizens. Joining me to tell us more about the Brighton Center is Deanna Souders, the Brighton Center's Marketing and Communications Specialist. Welcome, Deanna. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. All right. Now, you guys believe in creating opportunities for individuals and families to reach self-sufficiency through family support services, education, employment, and leadership. Tell us about some of the programs that you guys offer to families. Sure, so we have, as you said, 45 different programs and it's really all around a deep belief in the potential of people and that everybody deserves the best quality of life possible. So um, as you mentioned, we serve everyone from infants all the way through older adults, senior citizens, and it's really about being there through every stage and phase of life and partnering with those individuals or families to help them achieve their hopes and dreams, no matter what those are or what point in their life they're at. Well, that's amazing. Now tell us about some of the programs. Um, you guys have multiple early childhood education facilities and parenting centers as well. Can you tell us about some of those? Yeah, so our services start um, prenatally, honestly. So we have um, two home visitation programs. One focuses on zero to two years old and it's called Every Child Succeeds. We're a provider of that program. Um, which was started at Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center. And then we also do a program called Home Instruction for Parents of Preschool Youngsters. It's an international program that is designed to help parents become their kids' first and best teacher and prepare them for kindergarten, which as we know, if you're prepared for kindergarten, you're set and hopefully on a path to lifelong education. So those are two home visitation programs. And then our two early childhood development centers are nationally accredited. One's located on the west side of Newport, one's located on the east side of Newport. And it's really about providing that um, quality early child education um, environment with adults who are you know, caring and, and kind and are really looking at the developmental milestones that kids are reaching or not reaching if they need extra support. Exactly, because it all starts at home, right? Yes. All right, now you guys also offer uh, employment help and career opportunities. Can you tell us more about those programs? Yeah, so those um, occur in two different paths. One is through our workforce development programs, which, in which includes our Center for Employment Training. So it's really about um, giving people the ability to reskill or upskill, whether they're looking to um, further their career or looking to start a whole new career. I um, mean, it's offered, um, our Center for Employment Training is also in Newport, and right now we have um, three different skill divisions, Health Technology Administration, which is also sometimes called Medical Billing and Coding. Mm -hmm. We have Human Resources and Payroll Specialists, and then we also have Medical Assisting. So three very high demand yeah. careers, especially yeah. in this region. Mm -hmm. And then uh, another program we offer is called Trades to Success. It's a three-week pre-apprenticeship cohort for individuals who are interested in trade careers. Okay. So a lot of times individuals um, kind of know they want to go that path, but aren't really sure how to go about doing it or where they want to focus on. Yeah, well, those sound like really great opportunities and really great programs to have. Yes. So uh, you guys most recently started the Opportunity House and yes. you were telling me earlier that it's located at NKU. Can you yes. tell me more about that? Yes, so Opportunity House is a partnership um, with the City of Highland Heights and Northern Kentucky University, and it was really developed out of a, a need and a gap in services for youth ages 18 through 24. Primarily youth who maybe were aging out of the foster care system or didn't really have a support system um, at home or in any other capacity. And so it's 16 um, efficiency style apartments on the campus of Northern Kentucky University. Um, so they have their own little community there. Um, they don't have to attend Northern Kentucky University. It's any post-secondary institution, it just happens to be located there. Um, and they also have access to NKU services as well. So there's an on-site case manager there to help them through any kind of challenges or obstacles they're facing. Yeah. Um, so they're working and going to school and receiving support whenever they need it. Well, that sounds amazing because yeah. we always hear about, you know, children aging out of the foster care system and needing some sort of help and some sort of guidance. So I'm yes. glad that you guys are there to help them. Yes. All right, so you guys have a gala coming up we next do. month. Can you tell us a little bit about what the gala is all about? Sure, so our um, annual gala is April 20th, Saturday, April 20th, and it's gonna be at North by Hotel Covington. Okay. Um, it is a longstanding tradition of Brighton Centers. It, it came out of what was called the Lamplighters Ball which was uh, formed in the late 60s, early 70s. And so it's always been a celebration of hope and impact and um, looking towards the future of, of what, still, what work still needs to be done and how people can help support that. Heck yeah, because it's called Racing Toward Hope. So we gotta go and yes. race toward hope. So when is the uh, gala gonna happen? 
So it'll happen April, Saturday, April 20th um, in Covington. It sounds like a great idea. So where can people, I know you guys are probably looking for more volunteers, more donations. Where can yeah. people go to volunteer? Um, so volunteering, getting involved, learning more is the best way to do it is go to brightoncenter.com or any of our social media channels at Brighton Center is our tag on all of them. Um, so that we're always posting more information about how to get involved. Awesome, and you can reach the Brighton Center here at many of these different places on social media. You can go ahead and scan those QR codes for Facebook, Instagram, X, or LinkedIn. Well, thank you, Deanna. We are so glad thank that you. you came today and we wish you good luck with the gala. Thank you.